The story's theme is based on stories in Greek mythology, especially those surrounding Heracles, upon whom the main character is based, and his twelve labors. Many of the other characters are also based on Greek mythological figures. Characters share similar names to their Greek counterparts, and how their relationship is defined with others correspond with Greek stories. The title of the series, Heroic Age, is also a slight testament to the similarities to Greek mythology. Referring to the time of the Heroic Age, the tribes featured in the anime are loosely based on Hesiod's Five Ages of Mankind, set in a distant future. Heroic Age tells the story of the quest of the human race to find the messianic individual that holds the power to save mankind, the savior. Named Age is the only human to have been raised by the Golden Tribe before they departed from the universe. A young princess of the humans, Dianela, and the crew of the Argonaut an advanced spaceship able to travel between stars via lanes called Starways, find Age on the ruined planet Oron. After fending off an attack from a rival tribe, the Bronze Tribe, the human race sets off on a journey of salvation, led by Dianela and Age. Storyline The show is set in a futuristic universe, controlled by a few races or tribes that possess the capabilities for interstellar travel. The universe had once been ruled by a golden tribe, who had since left the current galaxy long ago. They passed on their knowledge to the humanoid Silver Tribe, the insectoid Bronze Tribe, and the gigantic Heroic Tribe. The latter was later punished by the Golden Tribe for causing havoc in the universe and made to serve the other tribes as Noto's extremely powerful beings that play a key role in the story. Before the Golden Tribe departed, humanity answered the call of the Golden Tribe and was dubbed the Iron Tribe, viewed as a threat to the order of things. The Silver Tribe decided to annihilate the Iron Tribe with the aid of the Bronze Tribe. However, humanity survived their assault on Earth and scattered their numbers across the stars in order to preserve their race. The Silver Tribe see themselves as the new guardians of space, believing that every other tribe that is inferior to them deserves to be conquered by them. Compared to other tribes, the Silver appear to be more powerful, immune to illnesses, living longer lives, and having the power to create energy from nothing. Each tribesman has been shown to possess common powers, such as long-range telepathy and teleportation, and creating spiritual projections. Unlike other tribes, the Silver Tribe consists of a small amount of tribesmen, their powerful spiritual powers, which helps them create superior technology, makes up for their low population. The Silver Tribe has helped many lesser species obtain low-orbit space status, but prohibited long-range space and interstellar space travel. The Silver Tribe consider individual star systems worthless, but gain wealth and power by obtaining tribute from the tribes that they have lifted up. Humanity is known to the rest of the universe as the Iron Tribe, the name given to them by the Golden Tribe. The Iron Tribe was the last tribe to be able to travel in space, but also the only tribe to develop the necessary technology on their own. The Silver and Bronze Tribes consider the Iron Tribe to be inferior because Unlike them, the Iron Tribe was not granted this ability by the Golden Tribe. When humanity began to explore space, Earth was attacked by the Bronze Tribe. Human life on Earth was exterminated and humanity was scattered among the stars. Pursued by the Bronze and Silver Tribes, humanity is shown united under a constitutional monarchy. While there are princes and princesses, decisions appear to be made by democratic vote. Humanity is capable of interstellar travel and has highly advanced technology but it is portrayed inferior to the capabilities of the Silver and Bronze Tribes. Bronze Tribe, an insectoid species. The Bronze Tribe is seen by other tribes in the galaxy as the Silver Tribe's enforcement arm, very numerous. The Bronze Tribe uses hollowed-out asteroids as starships utilizing the same starway and warp technology of the Silver and Iron Tribes. The Bronze Tribe's powers differ from other tribes. They seem to have limited telepathic powers, but none show the spiritual projections of the Silver and Iron Tribes. Bronze Tribe individuals create personal force shields and project beams of energy at a target from those shields. Bronze Tribe insect bodies can survive the vacuum of space and the heat of atmospheric entry, but are still vulnerable to normal damage. At close range, acid spits from their fang mouths, while a subset of the tribe have teleportation powers, rather than the instantaneous dematerialization. Rematerialization of Ialaeus and Lecti, the insects instead create gates or wormhole portals between interplanetary locations. When the Iron Tribe combined fleet attacked Taros, the Bronze Tribe's home planet, the gates were large enough for entire asteroid ships to pass through. The Bronze Tribe has not shown a single queen in its reproductive cycle, 
nor a pupa stage. The young hatch from egg sacs and mature to adult size afterwards. A humanoid-shaped controller can be found at the heart of each asteroid ship. It is not known how the Silver Tribe convinced the Bronze Tribe to serve them so unswervingly, nor what the Bronze Tribe receives from its relationship with the Silver Tribe. The story follows the voyages of the starship Argonaut and its crew to find a means to bring peace to the universe. The ship carries the young human clairvoyant Princess Dianela, who is on a mission to find the mythical savior of the human race. This savior is expected to aid humanity in their war against the Silver and Bronze tribes, who are bent on humanity's extermination. Initially, the expedition finds a child-hearted boy called Age on a partially destroyed planet. When the Argonaut is attacked by the Bronze tribe, Age is shown to transform into a Nodo's form, Belcross, a gigantic and immensely powerful being. He easily fends off the superior attacking force, having found their messiah. The Argonaut starts its way back to Dianela's home world, Dewey. During their journey home, the Silver Tribe launches several attacks on the Argonaut to prevent the ship from returning to their home world, but Age always managed to stop them. During the many attacks on the Argonaut the crew begins to warm up to Age. They had been fearful of his powers as a Nodos. The Silver Tribesman Fetho O assigns himself the role of testing Age, destroying the Argonaut and all the Iron Tribe on it. After Age drives Fetho O away and saves his tribe they all begin to accept him. Ilea saws Mahalam of the Yunos Knights is jealous of Age but warms up to him after the attack on Tataros. Once they escape the battle against Fetho O at Tataros the Argonaut crew arrives near the cemetery belt where they are again attacked by Fetho O and the Bronze Tribe accompanying him. Here Age fights another Nodos whom had visited him on Tataros. During the fight the Argonaut manages to escape however in order to do so Age had to stay behind to fight. The Argonaut warps to what they think is an unoccupied place and end up running into stragglers from the Bronze Tribe. Rather than fight they attempt to run only to be cornered by an enormous fleet. The fleet is also Iron Tribe. After saving the Argonaut that fleet accompanies them and they leave to help Age. After reaching back to Dewey. Word had spread throughout humanity of the Argonaut's success and Dianela's brothers used the momentum to successfully convince humanity to launch a counter-offensive against the Silver and Bronze tribes. With humanity united under the Junos family, the Silver tribe throws the full might of their forces along with their four Nodoses to destroy humanity. As the fighting intensifies, the humans move towards the Golden tribe's old home world. At the last moment, contact is made both between the Silver tribe, humanity, and the Nodos of each side. Dianela brings the Silver Tribe to accept a ceasefire, and Age is shown to be the key to opening a portal to the universe into which the Golden Tribe has moved. When this portal is opened, the Silver Tribe moves on to this other universe and passes all of its knowledge to humanity, including the ability to control the Bronze Tribe. However, during the battle, Age is missing after he opened the gateway. Some believed he died in the process, while others believed he'll return one day, honoring Age's wish. Dianela dedicated the next few years of her life to restore Age's home planet. Four years later, humanity has now brought order throughout the universe. With the Silver's tribe's technology, humanity had advanced further and rebuilt Earth. Dianela and the Argonauts team has succeeded in restoring Age's home. But through it all, she missed Age the most. Just as she was about to leave the only planet that gives her some comfort, the Golden Tribe's gateway opened and revealed that Age was alive and he and Dianela were reunited.